Yes, good morning. Hi, this is uh, Dr. Bob Flower, uh, and we're here uh, Monday, uh, April 13th, uh, the uh, Master Pattern Report. Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at uh, how we did last week. Um, our Wednesday call uh, actually hit on Tuesday. Um, you know, we're, we have the day before, the day after um, scenario. And our Thursday call, um, which we were right in the middle of, uh, hit right on target, and the um, uh, market was up about uh, 2, 2, 22, uh, We did well. We came out of there with about a 51% uh, return on our diamond uh, uh, options. Um, so right now we're about 84 out of 85, folks, and I uh, wish to God I knew what the hell I was doing with, with playing the market because I, I would, uh, I, we'd own the universe right now. Um, uh, so uh, let's move on to this week. This week we're looking for April 16th uh, as a uh, significant day. Uh, we think it'll be a, a real nice active uh, move there. Uh, the overall move we still believe is, uh, is up at this point. Uh, we're, we're looking at a, um, a target of somewhere between 10 and 11,000 on the Dow uh, before it, uh, it, it, it hits uh, uh, 4,500. Um, and uh, our metals are flip-flopping all over the place. We're, we're thinking about maybe uh, shorting them, but um, we're going to hold off for a little bit because we're, we're not quite sure um, which way these patterns are, are developing. We don't recognize uh, what, what's, what, uh, what patterns are emerging here at this point. Long term, of course, we are uh, bullish on them. Uh, oil, uh, we're keeping a, a, some tight stops on our oil position. We got a real nice uh, profit. Uh, uh, we think that maybe sometime in May, maybe the end of May, beginning of June, we might see a, a hit here. Uh, and if that if that happens, we'll, we'll be uh, planning on being uh, stopped out, but uh, buying using it as a buying opportunity to buy right back in here because we, we, we think that oil is going to uh, take off on us uh, within the next uh, Eight to twelve months. Uh, so, uh, and of course, uh, we're the, the Japanese yen. Uh, it, it looks like it's it's bottoming here. Uh, the American uh, dollar looks like it's weakening here. So, um, we're we're watching that whole scenario. Uh, the Australian dollar still looks uh, kind of strong. Um, we we're not quite sure where we're going uh, with. Uh, with with the yen and the dollar, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with the Australian dollar and 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 quite conceivably the Swiss franc for a little bit here and uh, and see see what's going on. The euro might might make a nice comeback here within the next week, so we uh, we very well may be playing that. If we see if we see it makes a move here a little bit higher, we're going to jump in on it. Okay, so let's look at uh, the uh, socio-political uh, aspects of what's going on. Um, the network voyeurists um, are signaling uh, a bottom uh, to the real estate uh, uh, market. Uh, surprise, surprise. Uh, if you remember, uh, Dr. Bob last week uh, suggested that perhaps we might be seeing some sort of a, a leveling out here. Um, and uh, here's the scenario. It, it, whether or not that's happening, or whether or not it's happening in given areas uh, and, and, and not in other areas, uh, the fact that the networks are now turning uh, uh, positive on it, um, it is, is going to have a, a significant impact on the market itself. So it, it, um, it, it may well be the point uh, where uh, you get your bucks together you get a few guys, a few gals together, and you buy a couple of uh, income properties. Uh, small stuff doesn't have to be giant apartment houses. Of course, if you got that kind of uh, revenue, yes, by all means. Um, uh, look, look for uh, the conversion factor if you want to convert it into a condo or a co-op. Uh, uh, even a small uh, job, four or six uh, families uh, in different parts of the country. Uh, that, that, um, Arizona, where we are right now, is a disaster, but it's a great market for uh, for, for specking on uh, uh, stuff of that type, and um, we're we're looking around um, for, for deals here. So uh, let's let's look to see what's going to happen there. Um, uh, is it the bottom? 
the point is it's perceived as being near the bottom. Uh, we think that there's a lot of things that, that need to happen before this market turns around. And we, we certainly have tremendous, tremendous losses. There's no such thing as home equity uh, for the most part uh, anymore. Uh, uh, people don't have the buying and borrowing power. So cash really is king. And it's going to remain that way for, for quite a while, as we see. And I, and I believe it, it uh, signals are from our master pattern that it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's going to be more the same in the future. Cash. Cash is, cash is king. Um, and, and income. Uh, income is going to be uh, extremely important. Um, okay. So uh, with that, I want to move on to, uh, to demonstrating to you uh, something uh, that, that um, we've been working on, one of the, one of the concepts that we're using to uh, make our calls. And um, this, is our, this is our wheel that I'm going to show you here. And the way this works is, is very interesting. What we do is, uh, this is today's date, okay? Now you see these geometric angles here, and this is a, a wheel of dates. And in the middle we have a, a, a numerical some, a scenario uh, on different, of different levels. Right? We look at where these geometric angles hit, uh, what are the dates in the past they've hit on, and use those dates as possible indicators as to what's going on, what's the nature of the pattern that we're looking through our other programs, right? Uh, this is a very effective, this, uh, and this is uh, called a GAN wheel, um, and uh, it, it's been very, very effective. Um, we, we use it to uh, show us limits, uh, up, up and, and down limits, uh, in whatever we're, we're looking at. Um, and, and by the way, this is very good for for corporations, uh, for businesses, uh, for you know people, uh, personal for people who are in business. Because you can look at uh, key dates of things that are happening in your life, and then make actual geometric uh, measurements of uh, of what's going on here. Um, and it's again, it's it's, it's extremely effective um, and a, a lot of fun, especially when you have scenarios like we've had in the past. Where you can uh, uh, you can literally see uh, uh, highs and lows uh, for uh, a, a day or or a week uh, period. Um, now that that doesn't happen too often, um, but it does happen, and it, and it just is another strong indicator to us that uh, we're on the uh, we're on the right track. And uh, talking about mathematics and geometry, uh, uh, Dr. Bob is. Uh, uh, his hard at work in his new book, and his, his new book is, uh, is, is going to be entitled The New Natural Laws, N2L, N2L. Uh, and uh, uh, chapter one uh, in, um, in the new book is called um, The Mathematics of Heaven. And um, uh, what we're going to do is set out some very fascinating discoveries that we've made uh, in various holy books, in uh, numerous ancient sites, and in, in uh, as well as ancient calendar systems, um, and how we see that they they um, they manipulate and they uh, create behavioral patterns. Uh, and in particular in, 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 the, in the stock market, but also with, with human behavior. Um, I, I think you're going to find it fascinating. Uh, what I intend to do is, is put up on our website um, maybe uh, three or four pages of this information, which is uh, data that's never been, uh, never been discovered, uh, never been uh, mentioned before. Uh, I want you all to have a great week. Uh, uh, we're getting to the bottom of uh, some big, uh, some big questions, some some very heady questions, and looking forward to uh, to talking to you again soon. You guys have a great week and uh, hang in there.